Hey, what's going on? I wanted to talk about some dating advice in this video simply because three years ago after I got my divorce, I found myself in a world that was a lot different than it was when I was last single in 1998. You know, brick style cell phones, no dating apps, that kind of thing, right? So when I became single, I started watching all these dating experts and started listening to all the advice they had to give. And in the three years that I've been listening to these individuals, I've never come across anyone talk about this. And so I just wanted to share my opinion. When it comes to criteria for what it takes to start dating or looking for the one, we usually think of status as number one. If you're single, then you're good to go. For two, are you emotionally available? Okay, sometimes we're single, but we're so messed up from our past relationship that we're technically not emotionally available, right? If you are single and emotionally available and you think, okay, that's the green light to go ahead and start looking for the one, before you start dating, ask yourself this question, are you completely happy and satisfied with your life, who you are? Are you happy with your body? Are you happy with the amount of money you're making? Are you happy with your life situation? Because if you're not and you go looking and you find someone that's beautiful and checks off more boxes than you could have ever imagined, what do you think is going to happen if they leave? If they leave your life and you're not happy, you're going to be worse off than you were when you started. So my advice to you guys is, is to build a life, build a body, build yourself up to the point where you are happy with life. And if the perfect person comes into your life and then decides to go the next day that you're completely fine with it. Otherwise, it's just going to set you back down into a worse state than you were. So just another thing to remember, fellas, before you go out into the dating world, the wild, wild west, make sure you've got your guns fully loaded, hypothetically speaking, of course. That's all I got. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in the next one.